Hello guys and uh, thank you for joining me again on one of my videos. Um, my name's Nick aka Red Fox the Gamer and um, today I'm going to show you a game called Lux Deluxe. Um, the reason why I picked this one is because it's quite a classic game. Um, I mean newly made but based on a classic uh, game called Risk. So anyone that's familiar with any of the old Risk games, uh, Lux Deluxe have basically created the uh, newest version I can find is also the h most highly rated. I mean, there's been spin offs called like Risk uh, Factions, which you could get on Xbox and PC. Uh, but this is the first proper reincarnation of the old classic uh, Risk game, if you ever enjoy playing that on the PC. Um, this is a bit untraditional as such because although Lux Deluxe does have the standard classic map I thought I would uh, show you one of the, the unique parts of, uh, of Lux Deluxe which is where basically where you can um, play different kind of custom maps either built by them the developers directly or built by the community uh, this is one of the most highly rated maps uh, available I uh, kinda like it so if I just show you the screen click on bonuses this basically gives you an idea of where you can gain your reinforcements from um, I'll try and talk you through the game as we go but basically anyone that's familiar with risk knows that you gain a specific amount of territories and then you get um, bonus reinforcements uh, so as you can see this is quite a large map um, so at the minute we're just uh, kicking off on the uh, the placement phase of the game so as you can see we've had one person so far uh, placed there uh, so looking at the bonuses again I think I'm gonna sort of start from around this kind of area so we're gonna I'm gonna pick my first area I'm red so as you can see it goes around the map and everyone gets to select uh, an area of the map that they want to um, own as such uh, and then basically anyone that's not familiar with risk but kind of likes the concept and would like to give the game a go um, basically the whole idea is is that you uh, you gain your territory at the start you then allocate your troops and then you try and conquer the world uh, which is hopefully what I'm going to try and successfully do uh, while showing you this tutorial um, so you just have to bear with me while I select my areas. At the minute, it looks like most people are scattering around everywhere, and I've got a, quite a nice central location. So this might actually be um, quite good for me moving forward. But I'm just going to see what. Yeah, this is looking quite good at the minute. So as you can see, uh, oh no, we've got a few black bits around here, um, but everyone else is relatively scattered, and I like to sort of keep my. Um, empire close together. The reason for that is because you get a connected empire bonus. Um, so what I'm trying to do now is I'm going to take these two bits around here so I can protect myself from anything that might be coming um, from down the south here. It's quite a, ta um, like a tactical game. You have to think uh, think a lot about it. I'm going to just take up a few of these areas here now. I don't really care too much about them. Okay. So now, as you can see, everywhere's um, selected. Uh, everyone selected their, their parts of the map. I'm playing against AI today. Uh, as you can see, this is like the um, sort of power rating, I would say, uh, of your um, force. So as you can see, everyone's uh, relatively the same. Um, as the game goes on, you'll be able to see the power rankings um, sort of sway, and I'll show you that as we go along. So at the minute, I've got four reinforcements. I want this area here, so that's obviously what I'm going to focus on. So I'm going to scatter my army across you can see that now you can see where all the other armies around the map are being built I've been given another four reinforcements now so I'm going to bolster my area um, and again I've got another four uh, as is a six here looks like they're, they're quite strong I'm going to boost my forces there uh, so there's a 12 then there's a 12 there so this might be a bit of a problem moving forward um, what else do I want to do I think just bolster these two here because that force is probably going to be a bit scary moving forward. There we go. Okay, so this is my first proper go, I believe. So, what am I going to do? And I'm going to put one there as well. Okay, so now it's the attack phase. 
So basically, what's happened there is I've uh, had two troops, and I've then decided to uh, attack the blues, and it's a random result. Uh, by random, what I mean is, is anyone that's played the original Risk games, um, you would know that uh, it's a dice roll. Uh, but defenders always get the advantage because if you both roll, let's say for instance the four, um, the defenders would win, and then you would lose one of your troops. Whereas uh, the attackers have to beat your dice roll so you'll find there that although I had more troops I actually lost because um, because they obviously um, but behind the scenes the developers have done the, the random dice rolls and, and, and they they outrolled me right so I've taken over that area there Right, and then I'm going to. So basically, I've done all the attacks I want to do this turn. And now you can look at a button called Fortify, and then you can move your troops again. I'm going to move them the closer to there just to protect myself a little bit. And then we'll see what happens. Now it's all going to kick off because everyone else is going to have their turn, but it's quite quick. say that oh, everyone's having their turns now uh, looking at that uh, I think the greys got relatively wiped out and it looks like there's only just the the blues have been quite strong there but because every time you attack um, that means they've got one troop basically and then when you've got one there it means you've got an additional troop to attack with so here you can see they've got one troop to attack with plus the one that owns the country so that means I can quite easily walk over these these areas now but I need to take over this one first so I'm going to bolster those areas there one there and then I'm going to just make these areas a bit stronger so what I'm going to try and do now is take over this if I can that didn't look that didn't work that one worked successfully and that didn't so the blacks look the most powerful at the minute, so we have to watch out for them uh, later on in the game. So now I'm just going to try and weaken their base a little bit. Alright, there we go. So now I've um, weakened them a little bit. I'm going to fortify these, moving them forward. You can sort of move your troops about. Just making this bit here stronger. There we go. And then we'll see what happens next time. At the minute it looks like blacks are relatively strong. Which is a worry. So we might need to start dealing with them soon. So, uh, now at the bottom here you can see I've got 10, 5, so that's 15, 16 reinforcements. Um, I'm going to start working on these blacks a little bit now, so I'm going to um, reinforce the front line a little bit there. I'm going to stick the rest there, so we're going to now, I'm going to now attack some of these blacks and push them back a little bit. Uh, you can press the left trigger and that moves one troop at a time or you can press the right trigger and that moves your entire army which is what I'm trying to do here to weaken the blacks so I'm trying to work out what's best to do here I think that's probably a good place to stop there and I'm going to move my troops back a little bit move them back there just spread this out there we go so now I've basically moved my troops closer to the border um, like I said to you earlier, with the, with the defender's advantage, it means that it'll be harder for them to attack me. And now I've weakened the black's forces a little bit, but they're still quite strong on the power bar. And we also have to watch out for greens later on in the game as well. Ah, 
Okay, so now I have three cards, which means I can cash those in and get extra reinforcements. And so I've got 23 reinforcements. Uh, as I said, the blacks are quite strong and the greens are quite strong. I'm going to need to start focusing on them a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give each one of those seven, and then we're going to again have a massive army here to try and start weaken these guys down. So now I've weakened them down a little bit, so the blacks, uh, I'm closer to the blacks now, which means uh, next time we can do something there. Um, so now I'm thinking we um, try and weaken the blues down a little bit. No, we didn't do that very well. Um, that's gone quite well. Oh, I can't do anything there, so I'm going to have to attack with these ones. Right, so. I'm moving all my troops I can that, this way to help my guys out there. There we go. So now I've sort of protected my borders a little bit, but we'll see how the next turn goes. Blacks are still really, really strong, even though I've... Um, attacked them quite a lot, it's because they've got five, you know, all these big five armies everywhere, so we're going to have to start working on that next time. But let's see what happens this turn. They might start fighting back. Okay, no, they didn't fight back, so... Um, let's give... Let's give these guys... Ten, and then put twenty on there. So now I'm going to start attacking these guys to um, to try and weaken them down a little bit. Okay. hasn't gone very well but now let's see what we can do here right <sighs> problem is I've done that I've done a lot of attacks there now but as you can see I'm quite weak so I need to move my troops across to protect my borders There's not a lot of reinforcement. I own a lot of the map, but I, I, none of those have got any troops on, so they can easily be walked through. As you can see there, look what blues have just done. They've absolutely taken over the entire area. That's what happens when you don't protect yourself. So I'm going to need to try and get all that back now. attacking these with all my whole troops and that's gone really really well so I've got all that back now that's really good I'm going to try and attack this in here so I can um, that hasn't worked <laughs> just so I can basically uh, I was trying to make them lose their reinforcements because they're getting a bonus for southern Italy there um, so I've successfully taken over that which is good There we go, and now I own England as well, which is good. So now I need to start moving my troops around a little bit. Oh no, actually, I'm gonna weaken the blacks a little bit. Right. 
So again, we're going to have to wait and see what happens next turn. Okay, so I've got some more cards again there. So you can see we can trade all those in. And now we have 50, 60, 65, 69 reinforcements. So you can see now that my army size here, uh, also that's country zoned. I own a lot more of the countries than anyone else. Um, so it's just a case of knowing uh, where to use these reinforcements. Um, if we plan smart here, we can be quite dominant. I'm going to put 10 on each of these and then I think we're just going to put the rest on here because then we can really start to break down those blacks and greens so let's start with going here so again the defenders advantage will will help them um, so it will, we will deplete our troops along the way but what I'm hoping to do is just break down some of these armies to make them very weak. So there you go. So that's that's worked out all right so far. But that's been that's worked out really really well as well. So now I need to um, knock down some of their big armies here. Then we'll try and I want to try and break down another one of these green armies here. Okay. I'm just moving some of my troops down closer to the front to help us out when greens inevitably come back and try and kill us. see what happens next turn then. Greens will obviously come back a bit with a bit of clout. I'm hoping we'll get quite a few reinforcements. So again we've got 60... 66. So I think we can probably do quite well here. So I'm going to put all the troops in one area and we're just going to now break them down. slowly break down this bring them all back there so this has worked out quite well for us so far Again, I'm just moving my troops around to um, just to sort of fortify the front line a little bit more. Right, everyone's quite weak now, so this should uh, this should help us out a little bit. So again, now we've got 50, 60, 75. 77 troops so I think this is probably going to be game over now um, I'll put them on there and then we'll just we'll take down the biggest armies but again they're putting up a good fight because this is the defenders dice advantage there you go so I've defeated them so now I get their cards as well so now you can see we get the we get their get the cars as well. Again we've defeated another enemy so this is this is proving to be quite popular for us.
so there's only a couple of troops left. I think we can probably win it here. So again, I'm basically I'm just um, I said the reason why I look so quick is because I'm just right clicking. There you go. And that's basically um, and the reason why that was really really easy is because I was only playing on uh, against easy computer, um, just obviously so that way you could sort of understand sort of how the game works. But uh, what I would say about this game is I think it's really really good when you play with your friends. So if you've got like a few friends around, you can play local local play or you can play online, um, and then that way you can sort of tactically work against each other and sort of try and give each other mind games and sort of how you're going to go around the map and you tell them you're not going to attack them and then you do and you know like it, it just creates like quite a fun a fun game when you've got friends but you know you, uh, you can up the the challenge and you can put it against like quite hard opposition and they're quite smart with what they do and they put their troops in the right place and defend their borders in a way that it makes it a lot harder for you to sort of um, walk uh, walk around the map um, but again, uh, this is hopefully just, this is just an insight into the game. I really hope that you go onto Steam and you pick up uh, Lux Deluxe game. Um, I think you can get it for about seven pound ninety nine, which is um, a bargain. Uh, like I said, for for this, for this type of game, if you really do like Risk, uh, and also if you do like my videos, then please um, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and I will be doing videos every Thursday and uh, every Sunday. So keep coming back, and I'll keep doing new games and things, and obviously you know, comment and and sort of. Um, request some games you'd like me to see uh, uh, obviously review and play and then um, I'll, I'll do videos in the following week so thanks again for watching and I hope to see you again soon